what's your reaction to Speaker Pelosi saying today that she uh, is moving toward an impeachment announcement? Later well, I session? haven't heard this. Uh, look, it's just a continuation of the witch hunt. It's the worst witch hunt in political history. We have the strongest economy we've ever had. We have the best unemployment numbers we've ever had. Uh, African American, Asian American, Hispanic American, lowest in history, best numbers we've ever had. Our country is doing phenomenally well. Uh, we have uh, rebuilt our military to the tune of two and a half trillion dollars. We have the strongest military on earth. Uh, if you look at the vets, if you look at any any group, they're doing fantastically well. So the country's doing the best it's ever done, and I just heard that she'd like to impeach. Uh, we also just had Rasmussen, as you heard, just came out with a poll. We're at 53, and they say 53 plus maybe 10. A lot of people say that because you add about 10 percent to the Trump polls because some people don't want to talk. They just want to go out and do it, and they know what's good. Our country's doing the best it's ever done. Uh, they're going to lose the election, and they figure this is a, a thing to do. This never happened where we're in the election. And, I mean, if she does that, they all say that's a positive for me from the election. You could also say, who needs it? It's bad for the country. Then they wonder why they don't get gun legislation done. Then they wonder why they don't get drug prices lowered. Uh, because all they do is talk nonsense. No more uh, infrastructure bills. No more anything. All they do, that's all they do. You watch Jerry Nadler and Schiff. You know, Schiff has been doing this stuff for three and a half years. It's the craziest thing anybody's ever seen. And other countries, like today, we're with Iraq, and we were with other countries during the day, and every one of them says how crazy it is. We have the strongest country in the world, the best economy we've ever had, and she's talking impeachment. So I think that — and by the way, she hasn't even seen the phone call. The phone call was perfect. The call that wasn't perfect and the words that weren't perfect were Joe Biden with respect to his son. And his son takes away millions of dollars out of Ukraine and millions of dollars out of China. And you don't talk about that. It's it's a real disgrace. But the good news is the voters get it. This is why they say it's good for the election. But you know what? Uh, it's bad for the country. What she's doing is very bad. If it's true, I can't even believe it. It's true. How can you do this and you haven't even seen the phone call? The whistleblower, they say, was second-hand or third-hand. And it was reported that I don't. I have no idea who the whistleblower is. I guess I could find out. Maybe I couldn't find out. But they say it was a very partisan person, the whistleblower. But it was second or third hand. Never heard the call. But I have better than that. We have the whole transcript of the call, which will be released tomorrow, and comments will be put with respect. It was a perfect call. There was no uh, quid pro quo, unlike Biden. Uh, there was no nothing. It was a perfect call, a very nice call. And in fact, I thought this was very nice. Ukraine just came out and made a very good statement. It was a very good call. There was no pressure put on them whatsoever. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.